Hemophilia, it's a condition that leads to excessive bleeding, even from minor injuries. It severely affects around 2,000 people in the UK. Now, a team of doctors say they have achieved a significant breakthrough in the treatment of the most common form of the disease. The research team at Bart's Health NHS Trust used gene therapy to correct the defect in a small safety trial. Our health correspondent, James Gallagher, reports. Walking two miles to work used to be unthinkable for Jake Omar. He was born with haemophilia A, a genetic defect that means his blood did not clot. The slightest injury used to mean severe bleeding. Even a long stroll would cause bleeding in his joints. But no more. I think the gene therapy has hopefully given me a bit of a new lease of life. It's going to allow me, when, as my boys grow up, to be a lot more active with them, to kick footballs around, to climb trees with them, to hopefully run around in the park with them and not be someone who's got to worry about what I'm doing. Jake's body struggles to produce a protein for clotting the blood called Factor VIII. Hello. He was one of 13 patients given gene therapy last year. A virus was used to give his body new instructions for making Factor VIII. All of the trial patients are off their haemophilia medication and 11 have roughly normal levels of blood clotting proteins. If this is how much factor 8 you or I produce, well this is how much is produced in a haemophilia patient. But you can see, after the gene therapy trial, it's almost up to normal. This is huge. It's groundbreaking because the option to think about normalising levels in patients with severe haemophilia is absolutely mind-blowing. To offer people the potential of a normal life when they've had to inject themselves with factor VIII every other day to prevent bleeding is transformational. It's a really exciting time for people with haemophilia. This could be life-changing. But we need to understand who it works for. We need to understand why it works for those people and why it might not work for some other people and understand long-term implications and side effects. Large studies will now take place to see if gene therapy can replace these regular injections and truly transform the lives of patients. James Gallagher, BBC News.